I'm a pussycat, baby. As a matter of fact, I'm a tomcat. Oh, I see you were in the Merchant Marine. That's right. Able-bodied seaman. Very able-bodied. Just answer the questions, all right? Now, it's really a turn-on when you play tough like that. You really want to know something, don't you? That's right, I do. Okay. I'll tell you something. I know what I'd do to you if we weren't in a police station. <laughs> Philip Hatch. Well, well. If it isn't the sexiest cop in Salem, all in uniform. Hmm. You know what that uniform does to me, babe? Why don't you, uh, why don't you arrest me again? You, you know, you, do you have your handcuffs with you this time? Oh, yeah, I have my handcuffs. But I don't want to use them, okay? Oh, why not? You know, but with the uniform and the handcuffs, we should have a real good time. Hey, does Bo know you're in my bedroom right now? No. No, no, I didn't think so, baby. Oh, I like that. Mrs. Brady sneaking around behind her old man's back to come in here and see me. Listen, Hope, why don't you just face it, baby? You are totally fascinated with me. Why don't you admit it? I drive you crazy. Can't be serious. I don't? No, you don't. Oh, well, that's real interesting. You know why? Because it must be my savage good looks that gets you to keep coming to my apartment and down here to see me. Is that it? That's it. Oh, that's a really nasty thing to say to your boyfriend, Steve. I suppose I, uh, should buddy you up, huh? That sounds kind of kinky. Why do you always do that? Do what? Take everything I say and turn it into some weird sexual joke. Well, maybe I just think you'd like it. Now open that big mouth, right? I want you to give me lots of little bites, Hope. I like little bites. And then, in between each bite, I want you to wipe my mouth off. I don't want to be messy. Okay, and I want you to use that hanky that you, that you have, you know, the one with the perfume on it, the perfume I like so much. Would you do that for me? Can you stop fooling around, okay? Just stop it. Just fade me, baby. Fade me. Okay. Wait a minute. There's just a little bit left on the bottom. Let me get it. Are you going to stop fooling around or eat? You haven't even begun to see me fool around, sweet thing. Now, if you're interested, I learned some things in the Far East that would turn your whole body into one big blush. You're really beginning to irritate me, all right? Close enough. What do you want? Mm, a little monkfish and uh, some snapper. The market's closed. Well, you're here. I'm sure you can give me what I want. I I'm sorry, the market's closed, permanently closed. Well, that's a shame. Come on, are you sure you can't fix me up? I'm an easy customer to satisfy. No, I'm sorry. You you'll have you'll have to leave. All right. If that's the way you want to be. I can just go find a friendlier place. But I'll tell you something. I'll be around. Maybe next time you'll be sweeter to me. Because I know you can be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Why is it you turn up everywhere I go? Mm -hmm. You're just lucky, I guess. Good morning, little school girl. Good morning, little school Excuse girl. Excuse me. Can I walk with you? No. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. You can go. But just remember, baby, if you ever want me, you know where I live. I said, what do you want from me? Well, I can think of a lot of things I might want from you, baby doll. There's only one reason I know why somebody like you comes looking for somebody like me. Don't make them laugh. 
Don't make you laugh? Well, what would you like me to make you do? I'd like for you to back off. I'd rather not. Hey, beautiful. Are you here to see me? I'm looking for my brother, Bo. Right. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. He's been a bad boy. He should be at work now. But uh, I'm here, and I'm sure glad to see you. And I think you're kind of glad to see me, whether you admit it or not. Oh, I need some help down there. You know, volunteers. Mm-hmm. Well, miss, I think you better put me at the top of your list, baby. Oh, I specialize in taking care of sweet things like you. You do plan on giving first aid classes uh, for the neighborhood regulars, don't you? Excuse me. Because if you decide to give a little course in mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, I don't want you to bother yourself about finding a volunteer. I have the perfect mouth for you right here, baby. Don't hold your breath. No, don't worry. I'll let that be your job. Listen, if I ever have a headache, which I do often, I'm going to come in and get an aspirin from, from you. I'm sure you can make me feel a lot better. Why don't you just go on and get out of here before I give you a reason to go to the hospital? Hey, ho. Oh. Sweetie, I got bumped on the head. Could you give it a kiss and make it all better? Hey, would you go back to sleep or something? Huh? Shh. Be quiet, please. Are you ready to go? I'd rather stay and play hospital with you. You know, I thought a bump on the head would slow you down a bit. Is that the way you like it, baby? Going slow? This little bump on my head here gave me an excuse to come and see you. Which gave you an excuse to come and see me. Which gives us an excuse to... You know, do you want your head checked or not? Because I'm really tired of this game. Oh. Would you stop it? Oh. Sorry, baby, I just felt a little faint there for a minute. Needed some place to rest my head. All right, that's nice it. That's it. Give me your hand. Oh. Give me your hand. Huh? Sit down. I said sit down, not lay down. You are my very own angel of mercy, you know that. Please, please. You rubbing that off or rubbing it in? So haven't you forgotten something now? What? Don't you know that if you don't kiss it, it won't get better? Trouble. Can I handle it? What's he doing here? Yes, I can. What am I doing here? I came to have my head examined, baby, and I knew you'd approve. You need a lot more than just your head examined, Mr. Johnson. That's true. So I think you could take care of me, couldn't you? Is it just you and me? Or do you have somebody stashed in the back there? No, I'm all... I don't have anyone in the back. I'm willing to go back there with you. What do you want? You said some hard things to me the other day, sweetness. Call me that. I like to call you that. You're sweet. Look, I have things to do, so you either tell me what kind of medical attention you need, or you go. Oh, I love it when you get angry, baby. Would you keep that up for me? I thought I made you nervous, baby. Maybe you do. Why are you taking the very first opportunity to tear my shirt off? Huh? Because these cuts need cleaning out. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get a good look at what you have here. Oh, oh. How do you know I don't want to get a good look at what you have? <laughs> easy, easy. Here, oh. easy. Oh, I'm feeling Sit down. Oh. Sit down. You're all right. Over here. I got you. You're all right. Oh. There you go. Ooh, you're there one you. big strong baby, aren't you? Do you lift weights or something? Only my patients. Let's take this shirt off. Take a look. Huh? 
are you doing? Like I said, I'm a little weak, but uh, I really feel a whole lot better when you touch me all over like that. I wouldn't do any physical activity for a couple days so it doesn't open back up. Yeah, well, you know, if you don't come over and visit me and do nasty things to me tonight, I'm, I might be okay. Hey, remember, don't forget, you know where I live if you change your mind. Thank you. Wait a second. I think I deserve a little bit more legitimate thank you than that. I risk my life for you, baby. We're gonna have time. Huh? How much time does a little kiss take? Just a sweet little one. Don't you have something else to do? Like what? Talk to you for a second. Where would you like to talk to me, baby? Examining room, maybe? Hmm? I can tell there's a whole lot I'm going to have to teach you, baby. Steve. Hey, baby. You've been waiting for me all night long? I'm sorry if you have. I didn't make it back. Do you ever quit? You know, you have a sarcastic and a cruel mouth. You don't hear me making personal comments about your mouth, do you? Like luscious, and pink, and juicy. Could you stop it? I didn't smile too much when I was a kid, either. Well, from what you told me about your childhood, I, I think I understand. Well, I'm a big boy now, and... Uh, other things make me smile. Big boy things. But look, Steve, I lost my patience about three hours ago, all right? Will you get out of my way? Oh, baby's having a hard day. Can I, is there anything I can do to help you? I don't think so. Now, just get out of my Come way. Come on, just give me one little chance, baby. What can I do to help you, huh? All right. Do you know anything about dead batteries? I know how to jump one. Then go jump mine. Mm. No, I can't get near that. At least not yet. You didn't know you had a car. I never saw you drive. There's a lot of things you never see me do, baby. So you want to ride or not? Oh, come on, Kayla. I saw those pretty little cheekies blush when you saw that woman in my place. That beautiful, sexy woman. Don't be ridiculous. And didn't I detect a hint of jealousy there, too? Oh, don't flatter yourself, Steve. I'm just telling you what I saw, sweetie. Well, maybe you need to have your eyesight checked. Mm -hmm. You think I care who you got in that room? I think maybe you do. You know, I... I want to learn how to love. Are you giving lessons, Nurse Brady? <laughs> From what I saw in your apartment this afternoon. I don't think you can come to fit me into your schedule. Ooh. I mean... I know what you meant, baby. And I'm flattered. You're still jealous, aren't you? I am not jealous. You're not jealous? No. Good. Because guess what? I'm too much man for one woman. Whatever you want from me, baby, you can take it. So what do you want me to do? Open a jar or move a sofa or... Is it something of a more personal nature? I need your help to figure out why you act this way with me. Well, I'm a healthy male in my prime, and you're just a, a very healthy female. Stop it, Steve. You know what I mean. You, you're you acting like a jerk. You always do that when you're with me. Why? Well, thank you very much. I thought I was being pretty nice. I guess you don't understand my kind of nice. See? Huh? There you go. I just don't understand you. I'm a mystery man, baby. You know? Makes me more interesting. Women love it. Well, I don't. You don't. Look, I saw how you were with Hope. You were kind, caring. You were human. And then when you're with me, you put on this Mr. Macho routine. The, the guy who never cares about anything. Well, which is it? Which guy are you? I think it's both, baby. You know, I think I'm a chameleon, as a matter of fact. You want to heat me up and watch me change colors? Lesson number one. The harmonica is very easy to play. You just wrap your sweet lips around it. And blow. The 
So you like to try new things, do you? Yes, I do. When do we start? Start what? One-on-one -on -one harmonica lessons, baby. Guaranteed to change your life. I want you to get up so I can get in the chair. Look, why don't you just roll over me? I just can't get up right now. Roll over me and pretend I'm not here. Go on, get over the chair. Go on. Oh, you are the most irritating, mm. obnoxious person. Is that any way to talk to your new husband? Just stop it. Baby, that feels so good. Stay with me. <laughs> Aren't you even going to ask me how I slept? I mean, that's not very newlywed-like of you. You know? The newlyweds are supposed to wake up doing... doing things like... you know... Like... Stop it. <laughs> you got a lot to learn about being a newlywed, baby. But you don't look much like a doctor to me, mister. He's a paramedic. <laughs> Paramedic, huh? That's yeah. right, paramedic. My specialty is mouth to mouth. <laughs> I love that paramedic thing you did there. That's well, that's all one. I could think of, but you almost blew it with your stupid mouth to mouth joke. That wasn't the joke, baby. You know it wasn't. You were sleeping so nice, I didn't want to wake you. What's the matter, all tired out from the honeymoon, baby? I had no choice, and that was not the honeymoon. Hmm. Sure seemed like a honeymoon to me. You can't tell me you didn't enjoy sleeping with me, huh, Mrs. Daniels? Don't call me that. And I did not sleep. Oh, yes, we slept together. Two nights to be exact. Well, it's over with now. Uh, where are you going? Well, your roommate Hope asked me to stop by. I thought I'd oblige her, give her a little thrill. Oh, um, I'm sure it'll make her day. You just say the word sweetness and I'll make your day, too. Don't keep hope waiting. You're lost. Thanks for bringing me here. Oh, that's all right, Cupcake. That's my specialty, rescue pretty girl. So why don't you tell me the real reason you're here right now, baby? I said stop huh? it. Ooh, her lips say stop, but her eyes say go. Do I get one of those? One what? One of those sweet goodbye kisses you gave her. Stephen, you never quit, do you? What are you doing? Taking your vitals. <laughs> Finally. Wish you'd break this habit of tempting fate. What, and deny you the pleasure of nursing me back to health? Seems to be our relationship, doesn't it? Relationship? Why, Miss Kayla, it's so sudden. I didn't know. You know what? Maybe you weren't holding the paper right. I mean, maybe you were shaking around while he was yeah. being a negative and overhead. Well, if that's true, it's because sweetness here was breathing in my ear. You have every reason to be upset with me. I'm not upset, baby. I get turned on when pretty girls fight with me. You want to hit me again? Come no, on. I... You look tired. You ought to get some sleep. What about you? I guess I can just sack out on this couch over here. It is, unless you want me to tuck you in first. No, thank you. Don't know what you're missing, baby. I'm a good tucker in her. You're hopeless, you know that? It's part of my charm. Well, I'll tell you something. If you ever get the feeling you're going to have a nasty, scary dream again, I want you to give me a jingle. I'd like to come and scare that boogeyman away for you. It's okay. I have a nightlight. I a lucky man. I bring these two beautiful women home. I'm expecting a couple of good night kisses. Stephen, thank you for the ride. And Steve. What is it, sweet thing? Good luck. Take good care of yourself, all right? 
So what about you, baby? Aren't you going to give me a kiss good night? Steve. What? I'm scared. You kissing me? I won't bite unless you know you what I'm talking to. about. You're doing it again, sweetness. What? Trying to lay feelings on me that I don't have. You feel things, Steve. Yeah, I'd like to feel things, baby. There was this hooker. Yeah. She kind of took me under her wing. She liked to spend her days in the kitchen. She taught me a lot of things. One of them was to cook omelets. You want me to go on and tell you what else she taught me? There was this thing she called the midnight special. Stop it! Just stop it! Sneak up stop it! I just wondered if you wanted to go get something to eat. That's all. Sounds like a good idea. You give me a couple seconds, I'll put something on. Take all the time you want. I'm not in a big rush. Oh, no? Maybe you'd rather I take something off then. It's your room. Do whatever you want. Saved by the bell, baby. Oh, baby, I just got too much energy, you know. I sit next to you too long, uh, that energy might turn into, you know, something that might offend you, or, you know, I don't know. I want you to try to control yourself now, sweetness. I know how this dry clean look turned you on, baby. But, uh, you know, my uh, jeans are standing up over there in the corner, and they're about ready to march themselves off to the laundry. Besides, I thought maybe I'd give the women of Sweden one last thrill before I leave town, you know what I mean? And speaking of thrills, baby, uh, I'd like you to uh, maybe get into something that doesn't look like you just stepped out of Sound of Music, huh? Maybe something short, black, tight. How about some leather, baby, huh? How about that, huh? I dare you. Maybe you maybe could help me. I think it's, I think it's stuck. Well, I'm uh, <clears throat> usually better at unzipping these things. Uh, oh, it's past noon. I thought this room was clear that you had checked out. <laughs> no, baby, we haven't checked out. We're too busy checking other things out, aren't we? What? Huh? Oh, baby, come on. You know, at this rate, we might just stay in bed all day. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, though. Well, cover yourself up. What do you think? What do you think people are going to think of you? Get Sorry. down in there. Come on, baby. Hey, listen, you wouldn't happen to have... Stop that! You wouldn't happen to have any whipped cream, would you? I'll huh? check. Okay, now if you Wait, find any, no, if you find any, leave it outside the no, door. No, we really don't need anything. Sure we do, baby. Mind you, she's gonna think. What do I care what she thinks? Come here. Steve, what are you doing? Make up your mind, sweetness. You come diving into bed with me here, I'm naturally gonna assume I, that you I was just scared. Well, you're not scared now, are you? Why do these things keep happening to you? You know, it seems all I ever do is wrap some bandage around a part of your body. Ooh. There's some parts you haven't gotten to yet. Okay, now you don't have to kill the cue ball. You just give it a firm little spank. I can fix you a sandwich or something if you're hungry. I'm hungry, baby. But not for food. <laughs> oh. We want the nurse! Oh, yeah? I'll tell you a little secret there, buddy. So do I. But we've all got to wait our turn. Well, if anything was to happen between us, I'd want to be awake for it. Believe me, baby. It wouldn't be anything you could sleep through. Tell me, tell me something. How long did it take you to figure out women? Oh, dude, I stopped trying to figure women out when you moved them little hooks around to the front. <laughs> <laughs>